Hello my little seedlings, my name is Toffee and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to bring you the finale, the final build of Oakwood. I am so sad that the time has come, but the time has indeed come. I think that today's build was possibly the biggest build I've ever done on an Animal Crossing island. It took me so long, I think it took me six hours. I had six hours of footage so how many hours it actually took me, I have no idea. I don't even want to think about it. There were some struggles, there were some tears, there'll probably be some changes later before I release the dream address. However, I'm really happy to bring you the final build of Oakwood and that is going to be a really rather extravagant museum build. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into today's video. So this is the area in which I am building today. Look at all of that space. I am terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified. It just there was so much space to fill and I was adamant at some points during this build that I was gonna hate the outcome. But you know, with I think with some minor tweaks and changes just to, you know, refresh the area a little bit before I release my dream address, it will be very much okay in my eyes. <laughs> At least the original viewpoint that I had set is uh, is is good, I think, is good in my eyes. <laughs> and that's all that matters, isn't it? Is that I like it, I guess. So the very first thing that I needed to do was a lot of terraforming. This video is going to be very long. This is probably going to be one of my longer speed build videos, so uh, grab a snack, a hot drink, a cold drink, depending on the weather where you're from, because um, this is this is quite a lengthy video compared to usual, I would say, because yeah, the, the amount of terraforming I, I had to do for this build was really no joke. I, I, it was a long, it was a lot of terraforming. <laughs> So I originally wanted to start by kind of filling in a square because this area, shock horror, surprise, but not really, it's going to be a sunken area. <laughs> you know me, you know my sunken areas, it's going to be a sunken area, but I wanted to make it a little bit more extravagant, I wanted to make it big, I wanted to make it entirely dedicated to just the museum because I always feel like the museum needs to have something fancy schmancy around it and that is exactly what I set out to do with this build. So as you can see, I am working my way through <laughs> this absolutely awful terraforming. I just, I was trying to create all of the surrounding cliffs. It took a long time, but here I am trying to start sculpting out the middle. But um, I ended up not being able to completely sculpt out the middle section, the sunken section, how I wanted to until I actually put the museum itself down because that helped me in guiding where I wanted to put the cliffs and the shape of the sunken area and all that good stuff. So yeah, this is just uh, me painfully, painstakingly uh, sculpting the clip. I've never done so much clipscaping in my life, but you know what? It was a lesson to be learned to uh, never, <laughs> never do a build as big as this again. I don't think I ever want to. I took like no breaks at all during the entire time I filmed this. I was, I was absolutely exhausted by the end of it. I was like, yep, no, I could do with a nap after staring at the screen for hours. <laughs> My poor head, my poor eyes were probably screaming at me, stop Toffee, take a break please, <laughs> just go for a nap or something I beg. But you know what, I got through it. So um, yeah. So because I couldn't quite decide how to sculpt out the little sunken area, I actually started doing kind of like the base of the top level cliff. It was just really rough kind of, um, this isn't how it stays. It was just like a rough little outline for how I did this um, cliff, which would be kind of like a backdrop to the museum. So it's not gonna be on the top layer of cliff. It's actually gonna be on the first layer of cliff. Is it first? Yeah, it is first, right? <laughs> You can only have three layers, Toffee. Uh, the museum is going to sit on the second layer, the first layer of cliff. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's going to kind of be overshadowed by this behind cliff and the surrounding cliffs. And then the museum itself will overshadow the sunken area. It was a, a lot for my brain to process. I had this like mental image as to how it would turn out. And you know what? I think it turned out pretty true to my, uh, my little brain process. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think, kind of. So um, I've gone ahead and I've popped down at the museum and I'm just kind of trying to attempt to sculpt out the sunken area. I played with the shape of it quite a bit. I played with the size of it and also how close this edge would be to the museum. Um, uh, if I would go back in time, I would probably bring it forward one more square because unfortunately I couldn't really connect any of the waterfalls uh, falling down from immediately in front of the museum because there just wasn't any space to do so. There was only two spaces in front of it. You'll see me change it a bit anyway and I basically make the space shorter. As you can see, the <laughs> sculpting isn't going too well. I was struggling with getting it to look symmetrical but by the end of this video, you'll see that I threw symmetry out of the window and for some reason all of the butterflies really liked it here and they just swarmed here the whole time pretty much. <laughs> Until I until I moved to uh, doing waterscaping, they all were swarming this area the whole time. Look how many butterflies they are. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> so now is the point where I kind of have the general shape that I wanted to go for. This is what I have. Look at all those damn butterflies. <laughs> Why do they like this area so much? I don't know, but it's very scenic. So the next step was to kind of start working on the next layer of cliff, which was gonna be the surrounding area of cliff. Obviously, you know me by now, if you've been watching the videos for this island, you'll know that everything is very much enclosed and that was not going to change. So I wanted to make this entire sunken area enclosed. And my idea was to have these cliffs enclosing it and then on top was gonna to be like a walkway, like a pathway going all the way around that entire top cliff um, so that you can walk essentially around the entire sunken area. You can walk behind the museum, you can walk across this bridge. It was a, it was a grand idea I feel like. <laughs> old chunk of uh, <laughs> the cliffscaping is done I then went ahead and started to cut out the water area for the sunken area and this is how it goes pretty much I had intentions to leave out a little island in the middle because I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting have a little bit of a floating island in the middle in the middle of this kind of like lush foresty area and that is exactly what I did Also decided that I didn't really want the whole waterscaping to be completely kind of uh, what do you call it close to the edges of the cliffs so I decided to add in some of these little areas where you could I could plant bushes and trees and whatnot on just the little edge pieces and then I'm trying to incorporate some little waterfalls so as you can see what I meant by the waterfalls not really connecting to anything but this one it, it, it connects to nothing it just it starts to form a little river because I decided to put a bridge here I decided to try and use as many of the um what do you call them inclines and bridges as possible <laughs> since this was the last build this is the only space I had left and I did have to tweak some terraforming so you'll see that although 
it did originally start as very much a symmetrical kind of area. It very quickly changed and it became a not so symmetrical area. <laughs> Especially the kind of lower part of the sunken terraforming where those rivers are in front of the museum. That, that very much changes as well. <laughs> I tried my best to leave enough space to plant some trees around the museum as well. Obviously it's a little bit difficult to do with the whole the trees have to be one cliff space away from one cliff space away, one space away from the cliffs. So that was a little bit of a, uh, a challenge but I feel like I managed to fit just a decent amount of trees in at least. I, I made it my mission to do so. <laughs> And then I'm going ahead and adding in some more waterfalls. I didn't want to go too, it, just too over the top with the waterfalls. I could have added in more, but since this area wasn't exactly big and the cliff space I had for the very top layer was very limited, I didn't go too overboard. But now, oh my goodness, the terraforming is done. The terraforming is done. Oh my goodness, the bane of my existence was that terraforming. It's finished. It's done. And now I can start planting my beloved trees. It was a nice calming thing to do after all that terraforming, believe me. It was nice to not really have to use my brain as much <laughs> for a little bit at least. And uh, this area is very very heavy on the trees. There are a lot of trees. I wanted to make this a very, very foresty pathway that kind of loops around the museum. But as you can see, I'm trying to leave enough space to add in a path later on. Finally, with the trees all placed, I can start doing the bushes. And now, whereas I was very kind of on the fence about it before, I feel like sometimes you have to trust the process. And that was definitely one of these kind of builds. Everything looked a lot better once everything was in place. It was, uh, it was one of those builds, but I can start planting the bushes. An unholy amount of bushes as always, but this island is finally fully bushed <laughs> after this build no more bushes will be required thank you for your service leaf <laughs> you have been an asset to this island you really have bless him he's probably so out of stock on these yellow tea olive bushes <laughs> bless him okay so now with all the bushes planted i am going to start making the path that loops around this entire build and as you can imagine you guys know how much i hate laying out path it is so annoying to try and get it to look just right and just natural enough but um the more i kind of went around i, I did it non-stop this whole path was non-stop so that i could just get in the zone of like paving this entire area <laughs> i don't think i've ever done so much paving in my entire life either but um you know what it, it, the more I do it, I feel like the better I get at making windy paths and that was definitely the case here. So basically this entire loop around is literally just going to be a scenic loop around. There's not going to be any kind of structures or, or fancy builds just because it isn't that kind of island. I really just wanted it to be a scenic walk around. Like if you've ever been to kind of like just a park where it's just nature and you just walk around the dirt trails and stuff, that was kind of my thought process for what this area would be.
Now, with the path all done, I can move on to the next step, which, as you may have guessed already, is placing down the wheat fields. I had to take so many trips to Treasure Islands to get enough wheat fields for this area. They must have been like, why is this, why is this girl dropping so many... <laughs> so many wheat fields who needs that many wheat fields me i do <laughs> i used so many i couldn't think what else i would really fill this area up with especially for like a scenic walk around i just i needed to make it overgrown and lush so uh wheat fields it was and they served me well they really did <laughs> i i think i actually picked up maybe too many i well i thought i picked up too many but i ended up uh using almost all of them actually so i, I guess i picked up just the right amount <laughs> finally placed I can now start decorating and uh, obviously as for the rest of my island very just very simple minimalistic decorations especially since this area kind of felt so grand already I didn't want to go too over the top with decorations so I just went with some simple stuff I used some signposts some bears of course all of my usual good stuff a lot of flowers a lot of pumpkins because I realized I haven't really been using pumpkins in the last couple of builds and um why not <laughs> I've been using them on the rest of my island so why have I suddenly just not been using pumpkins I think I must have run out and I was like ah can't be bothered to get any more <laughs> I feel like that was 100% the case. By the end of this video, you'll see that a couple of the spaces have changed, especially this kind of little look over to the museum that I changed that quite a bit, actually. I wasn't really happy with how it looked. Um, I love that log fencing, but I feel like it leaves so much empty space and just so much to, I don't know, there's just so much more could have been filled with it, unfortunately. I feel like that about a lot of the fences in the game, actually. <laughs> I just wish that they they were like a little bit thicker or, you know, you could plant things closer to them, but unfortunately that's not the case. Now that we have gotten to the end of this island, the fact is slowly dawning on me that I am going to have to pick up every single weed that I have ever placed on this island and replace them so that they grow kind of well balanced across the island because as it stands, all of my very first builds are very beautifully overgrown with weeds and then my newer builds are just kind of it got really sad not grown weeds <laughs> because you can only grow a certain amount and now I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pick them all up just to balance the area out and I'm just not looking forward to it That is this island done. I'm so happy, but I'm also really sad. I don't want this island to ever end, but I am very much looking forward to my next island too, which I have already started. You'll be seeing me doing some streams, trying to get to three stars and whatnot. So you can look forward to that, uh, me struggling, I guess. <laughs> but thank you all so much for sticking with me for this whole island. I will post a tour very soon, as soon as I've just fix the weird situation and put together any final changes I want to make to the island and then the dream address will also be up so you can visit it for yourself. I am so happy with how this island has turned out. This has been my favourite island I have ever done and I'm just really impressed with myself, you know? I really, I really stepped my game up for this island I feel like. But thank you all so so much for watching, please let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this build and as always I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!